This item is the Smith & Wesson Extraction and Evasion Tomahawk. Uh, this piece of gear was recommended to me very highly by a viewer of mine who spent many years in the military. All right, and he has this hawk and he recommended it highly. I take such recommendations very seriously when it comes from a soldier with a lot of experience in the field. It's going to cause me to take a second look at an item like this. At this point, I'm going to roll in a highlight reel of the testing footage. And after that, we're going to come back and I'm going to show you all the features of this hawk. All right, there you saw this quite impressive tool in action. Now the steel on this is 1070 high carbon steel. The length of the edge, four inches, right, and the length of that back spike is three and three quarters inches. All right, size comparison. The total length of this hawk is slightly just shy of 16 inches, which makes it a tiny bit longer all right, than this SOG hawk, very common hawk that everyone has. All right, so use the uh, extraction and escape hawk. Yeah, it, it is slightly longer than this SOG. And here you see the sheath that it comes with. All right, belt strap there, three button closures. It does hold it in very securely. Right, and to uh, unsheath it, just undo the buttons and pull it up from this way. And there you go. So that's the sheath that it comes with, belt sheath. Now I have to say, this thing is incredibly durable, incredibly hefty. One thing that you cannot see just by looking at a picture of it online is just the, the, the weight, the heft of it. Uh, this thing weighs 2 pounds, 11 ounces. And it is, you know, if, if this was a knife, you would say it's full tang because you can see the stock all the way to the pommel. And then these are craton scales. And the scales did not come loose, which surprised me because I've seen stuff like this where it does, but they did not come loose at all. all right now, the stock on this is three eighths of an inch thick. Uh, this design, it's made for hard hitting. All right, some tomahawks are meant to be like, you know, real light and fast, more kind of like martial arty type hawks. Not this one. Um, you're not going to whip out like a super quick snap cut with this, but it more than makes up with for that just in how hard this thing hits. I mean, uh, 
I could really see this in action as a breaching tool. Uh, you know, firemen chopping down doors. And it's just so durable. You know, they call it the extraction and evasion hawk. What they mean by extraction is that you can use this as a rescue tool. Okay, I mean, you could literally use this as a, as a crowbar if you had to. It would stand up to it. Uh, a fireman rescuing someone from a car crash or in the military, you know, rescuing fellow soldiers whose vehicle was hit. This would make an excellent rescue tool. This would also be a great breaching tool because when you pick it up, it feels like, you know, when you pick up a crowbar and you're like, dang, that's, that's just solid weight. Yeah, definitely excellent breaching tool, uh, prying things. It'll smash through cinder blocks. Yeah, I have to say, I didn't review this hawk for a long time because I was just going by the only thing I could go by, which was how it looked on a thumbnail. Uh, but now that I've tried it out, I mean, all right, it doesn't, you know, it doesn't look as cool as some of the badass stuff out there, but this is like five times the tool, five times the real, you know, real usable tool uh, than a lot of the other hawks out there. I always wondered why, you know, it used to go for between 60 and $70. I always wondered why is this like $65 when there's many, many hawks that are $30. But after using it, now I fully understand. This is, it's just a higher level of hawk than the $30 stuff you see out there. All right, and it's not like I haven't tried a lot of different hawks and hatchets before, but I can honestly say in comparison to these uh, less expensive hawks, yeah, I, I do think this Smith & Wesson is worth the extra price. All right, now as far as hand-to-hand as -hand combat type use, uh, you know, this the reason it's called extraction and evasion is because you know, it's not mainly for that use. It's mainly for rescue, breaching, stuff like that. Um, as far as hand-to-hand, -hand, pluses and minuses. It's heavy. I mean, you're not going to whip out a really quick strike with it. But this thing would hit so hard that, you know, it's a choice of power over speed. All right, but, you know... There's some really strong soldiers out there, so I have no doubt they could use it quite effectively. All right, and I'm sure someone's going to ask, you know, can you throw this hawk? Uh, actually, yes, you can. Like I said, it is very heavy, so the rotation is going to be slower in the air, uh, but that can be a benefit. But uh, yes, I mean, it's not made for that, but if you wanted to recreationally, uh, you can. And unlike most hawks, this is not going to break, okay? The shaft is, is not going to break even if you miss and smash it against tree, rocks, etc. All right, so final thoughts. Uh, performed a lot better than I had judged it just from the looks. Uh, I wouldn't hesitate to recommend it. And I checked today, the price seems to have gone down to around 50 at some places. That's a bargain. This used to go for almost 70 So, yeah, I would snap it up if you need something like this uh, in your job. All right, hope you enjoy the video. Stay tuned for more. I'm out.